trying to structure my first video. You know what I need? Pen and paper. I think I need a cup of coffee as well. Today, in my first video ever, I'm gonna be talking about something really important in my life, positivity. I am roasting. Positivity and motivation, two really important things, but they're, but they're all intertwined, you know what I mean? You got, you got positivity, motivation, dedication, mindfulness, number four, and, and, the, and the, the fifth one, I can't do that properly, is discipline. So that's the big five. I probably repeated one of those, but whatever. Basically, these are the five kind of key ingredients to, for me anyway, living a pretty happy life. And that's, you know, that's what we're all trying to do, you know what I mean? The common goal here is to be happy. And being positive is a really, really, really easy way to be happy, I guess. But being mindful, um, which is something that I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get into a little bit here, is one of my favorite ways to remain positive and, and actually feel positive as well. So mindfulness is essentially being thankful for, for the everyday things, for a, a good cup of coffee, for, uh, for a good conversation, for um, basically anything that, that makes you feel even a little bit relaxed or, or happy or positive in any way. It's, it's like really indulging in those moments, um, looking forward to them, um, making them seem more important and bigger than they are, I guess. Mindfulness basically gives me the motivation I need to get up in the mornings, look forward to that first cup of coffee every day, but also the last, because the last is also, it's just as good, I'm not gonna lie. Good shit. But mindfulness allows me to enjoy things like going to the gym. I never thought I'd enjoy going to the gym before, but I do now. Um, I don't know whether that's mindfulness or whether that's just my kind of general positivity about things but I mean just indulging in the moment enjoying being there not looking forward to going home not really looking at the past or the future just kind of being in the present I think people really struggle with being in the present these days and I, I know I do as well I always look to the future um, most people I feel look to the past too much but if you can just try and chill out just relax just sit there for 10 minutes. Maybe it's on your bed or out in your garden or down in the kitchen with a cup of coffee. Maybe you don't drink coffee, in which case you should start drinking coffee. But indulging and enjoying those little moments, being mindful, being thankful, I think that's really important. I'm probably gonna make a separate video on it, but um, when I had anxiety, and I still do, I mean, anxiety doesn't really go away, but. One of the ways that I've become much better at dealing with that is positivity. Now mindfulness helps as well, but mindfulness is just helps with the positivity and the positivity helps with your general mental health, which is, again, really important. There's this kind of, um, now I don't know, this, this is not researched at all, I'm not a doctor. If you think you're depressed or you have anxiety, go to your doctor, go to your therapist. They're much better than this than I am, but at the same time, Positivity, I, th I think there's an underlying negativity around inside your own head when you have something like anxiety. With anxiety especially, where it's not necessarily depression, it's not necessarily going to cause you to feel sad, but I mean it does because it's so annoying, it's so, it's there every day, you don't want to get up out of bed because you don't want to deal with it. Positivity, mindfulness, enjoying the small things, looking forward to those small things and the motivation to go and do those small things actually allowed me to tackle you know, anxiety in general, a lot better. I hope you can excuse the, uh, the the obvious lack of direction here. 
this is the first time I'm trying any of this kind of stuff, but uh, hopefully it gets better. I mean, that's the aim. Um, to round up, I mean, enjoy the simple things. I think that's the general idea uh, of mindfulness and, and being positive in general. If you're, if you're not enjoying something or if you really hate something or if something's really dramatically negatively affecting your life, just change it. You know what I mean? Even if it's your job. Even if it's, um, you know, something like your entire health. Something that is kind of controllable, at least. Just change it. Just quit your job. Just get on some health food thing because being healthy is really important when it comes to positivity. It changes your entire mental Whatever. If you don't like what you're currently doing in the gym, change it up. You know what I mean? A lot of people go to the gym and they hate going to the gym. Just don't go to the gym. Do some other form of exercise. You know what I mean? Uh, join spinning classes. That's probably not a good idea because they sound really terrible. I don't know. Join something that's going to make you enjoy those tasks that usually take a lot of motivation. So tell me how much you hated this. Tell me what you really disliked. Um, give me as many dislikes as you possibly can because that would be very funny. I mean, I'm hardly gonna make any money from it, so I don't care. You know, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this is basically, a, I don't know, I just believe that it's it's important to be creative. I believe that it's um, quite fulfilling. It's it's definitely motivating um, to, to just kind of create. And I have, I have ideas every single day. Um, they just kind of pop into my head and I, and I don't know what to do with them. Usually I just think about the topic for a while. And then I just throw it away, it just disappears and it's gone forever. But I thought to myself, why not just throw it on the camera, put it somewhere, put it to use and uh, be, some, be, a, be a bit creative. I guess my, my motto, if I'm going to have a motto, is going to be uh, create every day.